Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ollie from Flight Comp, and this is the uh, Dragonfly Slope Ladder Build video number three. Um, I made a huge mistake. So I had a bit of a disaster with the Dragonfly. Um, I actually glued in these torque rods for the ailerons backwards. Um, you can see right now, this is the bottom of the wing, and the rods are, are sticking out from the bottom. And that's the way it should be because it's kind of a it's a top mounted wing. But initially, I glued them in sticking out from the tops of the wings. You can see, I actually filled in the holes uh, where they were sticking out. So I had to break off the trailing edges again, rip the torque rods out, sand a bunch of stuff down, glue it all back together, and um, do a bunch of sanding and smoothing because it kind of tore up this area here. So basically, I made a couple hours extra work for myself, but I got it fixed, and it, it's uh, as good as new. So we can move past that, and I have glued the two wings together, as you can see. Um, I just glued them together with uh, some wood glue, and now I have to put a strip of fiberglass um, over the seam. Obviously, this, uh, this wing is a, a white foam core wing, a really soft white uh, foam, and it's not, uh, you can't use regular uh, super glue with it. Uh, so I've been using wood glue in a lot of places. Um, I also changed the dihedral angle. It called for a half inch of dihedral on one tip, and I blocked that up, and to me it looked like a little too much dihedral. Um, I don't really want to have dihedral in this plane because I want it to be aerobatic. Basically, you want the top of the wing to be flat, and then um, obviously the wings taper. So I'll just use that natural taper as the dihedral. So basically, I cut that in half, and I only put a quarter inch. So basically, I have a, ha a flat wing top, and then on the bottoms, um, the wing just naturally tapers up. So it's just a minute amount of dihedral in the wings. These torque rods are all good to go. Um, I've done all the basically sanding on the uh, rudder, so that's almost basically ready to cover. And then I need to um, sand up this elevator right now. I need to taper the trailing edge and around the leading edges. So I'm gonna get going with that. So hopefully today I'll be able to um, have the tails done and have the uh, glass over the, uh, the joint here on the wings. Right, I've got uh, my fiberglass tape in place on the wing. Um, this is the tape that's included with the uh, kit. It's not really tape, it's just a strip of fiberglass, but it's actually stitched up <clears throat> on both ends, on both sides, so it doesn't uh, unravel. I don't really like this kind of fiberglass because it always creates a lump here where the stitching is. But uh, anyway, it's included with the kit, and I'm trying to build this thing as close to the kit as possible, so I just used it. Um, I've masked off the areas on each side just to keep the wing a little cleaner. And I use some 3M77 uh, spray adhesive to tack it down. So it's in place firmly uh, on both sides and ready for me to put some epoxy on there. I'm going to use some really high quality, uh, you know, like 24 hour cure epoxy. And then I've done most of the sanding on the uh, elevator. So I got the trailing edge pretty sharp and rounded off the leading edge. And then what I'm also going to do is use some of the same epoxy I use on this. And I'm just going to rub in on both sides a little bit of epoxy on the trailing edge. Just a little bit. Let it soak into the balsa, you know, like at the corners here. And that'll just uh, stiffen up and harden up the sharp trailing edge. And then I'll finish sand it a little bit and it'll be nice and smooth. It'll keep this from getting uh, dinged up too badly. So let's move on with uh, mixing up our epoxy. All right, the epoxy is on the fiberglass, and we're just going to let this cure for at least 24 hours. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the leading edge. I did <clears throat> manage to sand the hardwood leading edge to a pretty decent shape. I think I uh, worried about it more than I did when I was a teenager building one of these. <laughs> because uh, I'm not a fan of the uh, triangle stock for the leading edge because the wing tapers and doesn't really provide a uniform <clears throat> surface to work with and get a uniform uh, round shape on the leading edge. I think if I were to build one of these again, I'd just use a rectangle or square stock instead. But what I did is I 3D printed a sanding block 
Um, just has like a round uh, profiles in it. This one's a big one, and then I have a small one I used when I got out to the tips. So I just put some sandpaper in here and then use this to help round the wing. Yeah, so I think now basically that really completes all the construction on the flying surfaces. Uh, after this is done and we do a little bit of sanding and trimming, uh, we can move on to figuring out the mounting system for the wing to the fuse. And we'll also look at the uh, mounting the elevator servo in the fuselage. They say to use hardwood rails, but I'm, I'm thinking about maybe using a tray, like a plywood tray instead. But we'll see how it goes. All right, I got the dragonfly wings joined up. Um, got the fiberglass on here, on wrapped around both sides. I did a little bit of uh, finish sanding, or just some sanding, just to smooth it out a little bit and get rid of the uh, ridges that this type of fiberglass tape tends to have on the edges. Uh, just some light sanding with some like 100 grit sandpaper. And then right here, um, before I joined the wings, I actually kind of hogged out the foam um, on both sides and made a little pocket. And then I filled it up with some epoxy and uh, micro balloons just to sort of make a hard point because this is where the front wing mount bolt's going to go. And hopefully when I tighten the bolt down, it won't crush, <clears throat> crush the soft foam in the wing. So, um, yeah, torque, torque tubes are in. They work well um, after the uh, debacle of putting them in wrong. So that's all good to go. Uh, next thing we're going to start looking at is mounting the wing to the fuse. So these are the parts that come with the kit. There's some uh, wood blocks, some uh, T-nuts, and nylon bolts. And basically you drill a hole in here, mount a T-nut, and then these go into the fuselage. So one gets bonded in here underneath these lips, and then the other one goes here. And there's a pretty gnarly... Uh, seam a lot of flashing on this uh, fuselage all the way around so I'm gonna knock this down and then probably um, I'll have to cut these down a lot because they're way oversized so we'll do that and then uh, drill the holes and mount the t-nuts in there and uh, I'll see what we can get accomplished moving right along um, I got my wing mounting blocks done up, um, trimmed them down to fit, and installed the uh, T-nuts. I had to round the edges a little bit to fit the uh, fillets that are in here, these cabisole fillets. Um, this one, the rear one, I tacked in just with some uh, super glue, and then um, I'm going to tack this one in too with super glue and then remove the wing and then use a good amount of epoxy on the bottom side to uh, install them. Yeah, so that's a bit of progress and uh, let me get those uh, installed and we'll come back to this. Right, we have the wing blocks installed, came out pretty good and I have some epoxy holding them in so they're tacked with CA and then I went back and uh, used some epoxy to securely mount them and so that's that's good we got a lot of good progress happening um, the other thing I got to work on is trying to make this canopy fit better it uh, doesn't really want to sit down on the front part of the wing so I got to do a little bit of grinding and fitting here to try to get this to fit so uh, we're, we're gonna do that and then I think when I get this fitting kind of decent we're gonna wrap up part three and then uh, think about uh, what is next on the build. So I did a lot of uh, trim work on the canopy. I did a lot of uh, kind of sanding and trimming back here on this edge and back here and a little bit here. And it's fitting, it's fitting pretty good. Um, not perfect, but I don't think anything on one of these models will really fit perfect. Uh, but I'm happy with it, so um, that's done and then I'll probably just use like a piece of carbon rod like maybe a piece here and a piece here uh, as an anchor so it'll like go in like that and then like that um, <clears throat> yeah wing mounting system is done um, I think the next thing we're gonna do is um, get the elevator servo mounted and uh, run a push rod tube back there for the elevator and that will basically complete 
all the construction, um, and then we're gonna have to go into finishing. So we're gonna have to do a lot of uh, filling, priming, and sanding on this fuselage because it's just covered in, you know, uh, air bubbles and pinholes and all that sort of thing. It's gonna need a lot of work to make it look good. So stay tuned for that. I did notice one thing, which is a little uh, upsetting. Upsetting. Check this out. Watch if I hold the wings level. Look at that. This wing is way heavier than the other wing. I don't know if that's because I used more glue on that side or the wood's heavier or what, but it's going to take a lot of weight. Let's see if I put, a, even if I put a pen out there, it's still dropping down. You move it all the way to the tip. <laughs> Let's put a sharpie on here too. Let's see what happens. There we go. So anyway, you get the idea. Um, I'm gonna have to put some lead out here, probably in the wing tip. Maybe come in from the drill a hole in the end and put some lead to balance it, and then glue that winglet on. So that'll that'll at least cover it up nicely. But I have a feeling we're gonna be putting a lot of weight out there on the tip so uh yeah i'm gonna call that good for part three thanks a lot for watching guys uh it's been a fun fun project so far uh, and um i haven't been spending tons of hours on it but the you know the hour at a time that i put up uh, spend on it we usually get a lot of progress done so i'm pretty happy about that start um priming and filling and sanding the uh, fuselage we're gonna get the elevator servo in there and a push rod and maybe start thinking about covering the wing or hinging the ailerons and whatever else we might get to. So thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.